Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. And you talking, sorry, but you talking about, okay, your daughter. I want to touch on something really um, that I've never asked you before. And, and I see you on social media, you advocate for not blacks, as you said, yeah. state, but for niggas. Yeah. The right. nigger nation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't really too much care for black people. Okay. But I noticed that your children are biracial. Yeah. I wanted my baby to have good hair. <laughs> That's it. The I, I only reason I got mixed babies, I didn't want my baby having nappy nigger hair. Because we was taught that nappy hair was bad. All niggas I knew grew up putting S curls and, and, and shit on, and, and, and dukes on their hair. Uh, all the women I saw from the 80s on up, I remember it used to be shameful for black women to wear weave. Mm. They would sneak it in. You didn't know they had it. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I wanted my children to have good hair. So I had mixed kids. That's it. I was 14 years old. I called home and told my mama, Mama, when I grow up, I'm going to have a baby by a Mexican. She said, son, you need to focus on trying to get out that juvenile facility. You too young to be thinking about having kids. But why Mexican and not white or any uh, other race? Well, because well, well, growing up, uh, Mexicans was easy to have sex with and they was more submissive. They it was, was not, easy to have sex yeah, with. Yeah, Mexican girls and white girls was easy to have sex with growing up. And they, uh -huh. and they were more submissive, right? They, they would steal from their dads. Uh, hey, uh, get your daddy car key. Black girls wouldn't do that. So I learned uh, that, that other cultures, <clears throat> other, uh, <clears throat> other women from other cultures are more submissive to black men than black women. I learned that as a kid. But you could have easily went and got you another black, women, black, black woman black from a women, different black, culture. Black women don't mind. I want somebody to but mind. But it depends on the culture. They don't mind. Well, the other cultures, you get to kick them in their ass. See, African women get to, African men get to beat their women. But when they get here to America, they really can't beat on them. Arab men get to beat their women. So, uh, yeah, I could get one and <laughs> kick them in their ass, but I want one to mind from conversation. And uh, black women, you sometimes, you got to kick them in their ass. White woman, you can tell a bitch, shut up, and she'll shut up. Mexican woman, once y'all start fucking, you got to kick in their ass, because she gonna be feisty and wanna fight. But they mind, and they ain't gonna put the police on you. Uh, the Mexican woman ain't with really putting child support on, on, on the dad. Uh, so I, the want, one thing that I, I want I, it to be a sorry motherfucker. The one thing that I don't <laughs> like, because a lot of times, like, when you keep saying black woman, um, you remind me of Kevin Samuels, because he always say black woman. That's all we know. But then there are black women in different cultures. We don't, they like, ain't black. I'm, I'm Jamaican. You ain't black. I, then you what am I? Jamaican. I'm black. You Jamaican. No. You Jamaican. It's a difference, huh? It's a difference. Okay, hey, describe the difference. Uh, if I go to your- What color is if, my skin? If, if I, what if, color is my skin? Yellow. Okay, and it derived from? Uh, even white derived from black. Even white derived from black. All colors in the color spectrum come from the color black. But y'all have been classified as Jamaicans. We still haven't been identified nor classified. We were just given a color. When I fill out a paperwork here in the States, it doesn't say but, Jamaican anywhere. But black is a, it's not a person. It's, that's not a noun. Mm -hmm. that, that it's, it's, that's more of an adjective, isn't it? Well, mm -hmm. you, how can you describe me as being black? You have a name, you're Jamaican. And you're American. Well, I'm black American. Okay, I'm black Jamaican. It don't say that. You're making some up now. <laughs> <laughs> it don't say that. Our paperwork, we have to, we have to check something. When you go back home, you don't check nothing. You're automatic Jamaican. Right. I'm not automatic American. I'm automatic black. Black people aren't American. We had to be given American rights. You see what I'm saying? So. Uh, when we say black, we talking us. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't us. Mm. Don't y'all got Jamaican food? Yes. Don't y'all have a Jamaican culture? Yes. We don't. You have an American culture. What? What's in Texas? In Texas, you have soul food. What's Barbecue. So, uh, that what? Who, that's our culture. Mm -hmm. Black slaves didn't barbecue. 
Mm-hmm. Slaves didn't barbecue. Slaves didn't create that. Mm-hmm. Soul food. Uh, pig intestines. Pig feet. So what did slaves used to eat? The slop that their masters gave them, like the dogs. What you would give your dogs. That's what they ate. And that became part of what we ate. So you say that's our culture. No. Come on, don't do us like that, please. No. Uh, I understand you play devil's advocate, but nobody in this world mm-hmm. have been done like the person, mm-hmm. not the African. See, this is what people forget. It was a small portion of Africans who was transported over here and was made to be slaves. It was a small portion. The rest was created in bread. They had slave form, but they bred this because slavery, international slavery, was only legal for a small amount of time before the world said, no, stop this. So America kept saying, fuck y'all, we ain't finna stop this. They started making slaves, right? Mm -hmm. So the first generation of Africans who came over here to be slaves they weren't niggas. They was Africans. The ones who was born from the Africans, right? The ones who was forced to have sex and sleep with this one, those that was born on this land under slavery, into slavery, they were niggers. Mm-hmm. Them wasn't black people. Them was niggers. They was cow nigger. Come here, nigger. Shut up, nigger. Fuck you doing around here, nigger. He didn't have a name. So those people never thought to go back to Africa. They didn't know no language. So we, those seeds, we are not African seeds. We are not, we don't have no African bloodline other than what the white boy have. We was born to slaves. Nobody else was done that. And nobody else was done how those people was done. I know because in Jamaica, when I did some research on it, you know, because we had um, Arawak's Indian was in Jamaica first. But then when the Spaniards came there and enslaved them, the, they couldn't deal with being enslaved, so a lot of them were dying off. Man. So whenever the, they went and got Africans and started transporting them here, they left a small amount of them there and realized that they can deal with the slavery. So that's when they started transporting a lot more Africans there as well. Now, now look, at, look at us. Why are we better in sports than anybody? Why are we born with this, this body and this physique? Because they strategically say, put this nigga with that nigga. Look how fine she is. Look how big she is. Put them two niggas together. Make him sleep with his mama. Make him sleep with his sister. Make make him breed with his auntie. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's a fine nigga there. Boy, we need plenty more niggas like him. Where you get that nigga from? Look at his mama. Frank, take, come here, give me a gal. Come here, heifer. Look at her. Now, come here, nigga. Come look at the the boy right here. Ooh, wee. You think you, just like the dogs. And it was paperwork on these niggas. Who they was bred, who bought them, who owned them, how they died. All this is documents. So no, not only did they take the body and breed them, they took the minds. We gotta develop a system that these niggas don't come to our house at nighttime and cut our throats. How can we take these niggas off the chains like we do the horses? We got to break these niggas like we break horses. And they created a system to do that. We're going to make this woman make sure this boy won't ever stand up and talk back like we had to kill his uncle. You had that book that talked about that. Yeah, I've, I've, read, I've read a lot of books. That's just the history. Jews wasn't done like this. Ain't nobody been done like this here. And it still go on today. They still fucking our minds. They took our minds. We are walking empty. We, we, we like walking dead people. They tell us what we like. Why you think all of us wear Michael Jordan tennis shoes? All of us got Gucci belts. Why you think we all do the exact same thing like robots? All of our women got eyelashes. None of them don't do it. None of them don't do it. None of, I, none of us don't do nothing. None of us have separated from the pack. 
They got a button on us because they know us better than we know us because we don't know nothing about the niggas. They teach their children about the niggas and we don't know nothing about the niggas. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.